Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ Spiracy. I want to take a couple seconds here to show you guys how to clean your kit, how to maintain your kit. Because I got asked the question a lot, uh, what kind of oil can I use? What can I use to clean my kit with? Now, depending on your vehicle, uh, you can basically use soap and water and use a, uh, a brush and just brush your kit away, your dirt away, should I say. Once you clean everything on your vehicle, your vehicle spot, spick and span, very clean. Now you could go ahead and clean your bearings. Bearings in your wheels, both sides, in and out. Front, the same thing too. And your transmission, if you wanted to open the transmission and go a little bit deeper in it. Now I do have a video how to clean bearings with citrus cleaner. If you look at the, the bio description will be in there. And if not, just go in my videos and you'll see it, bearing cleaner, how to make one, very easy. One of the things I would recommend using is citrus cleaner, and Dynamite has two products out there that works perfectly on RC cars uh, and will not damage any part of it. The Absolute Force is one of them. Uh, it's aggressively cleans and removes grease and grime, oil, dirt, and mud. Safe on all plastic and rubber, carbon fiber, and even aluminum. Any, any metal material, this will not damage it. It will clean it perfectly. This is a 32 fluid ounces, one quart. Uh, great on RCs to keep them clean. Now for your nitro guys, Dynamite has you covered too with the Magnum Force 2. And it's safe on electronics. Uh, and will remove to uh, your nitro, things like that, on, all your, on aluminum and plastic parts. And again, won't damage them. Great stuff. Those two are the products I would recommend before using some gunk or engine cleaner, brake cleaner, things like that. These, this is, will damage your parts. Will uh, basically put your, instead of having your black black, it will bring it white. Now, once you clean everything up, time to lube everything back up. Now, there's a lot of products out there, like this can here, three in one, uh, lithium grease, white lithium grease. Any three in one product I would not recommend using. Simple reason is the thickness, the viscosity of the oil inside. Just by shaking the can, you feel it, it's a heavy oil. You don't want a heavy oil. You don't want to create any drag on your bearings. Uh, any pro, any piece of your RC cars. What you could use, even in WD-40, you can't use too, and I'll explain a little bit later on why. You want a light oil. Dynamite has some light oil. Uh, they have light, medium, and heavy. I just don't have them with me right now. I would suggest a light one. Or the other thing too you could use, I just don't have my bottle near, my, near me right now, uh, is basically sewing machine oil. It's extremely light and does a great job. The other two you could use is basically O'Donnell makes this uh, O-Lube wax lubricant and uh, Sullivan makes this dry ice. Great products. They're wax based. You put them in on your bearings or your plastic, or plastic, any metal parts that want to remove friction, glide extremely well. The only down point about this is for Canadian guys, you can't get these in Canada anymore. For some reason, I don't know. Now for the US, you can get this. There's no problem. And that was something I would suggest. It leaves like a waxy film on top, does not create any drag, and your bearings just slides. Now, like I was saying, WD-40, the reason I do not recommend using it on an RC car, because WD-40 is not really a lubrificant. And if you use WD-40, you'll notice it will attract dirt. It will attract anything that's in the air. Now, WD-40, it's a great cleaner. If you want to use to clean your parts, it will clean them extremely well. Because WD-40 was invented to be a cleaner. Uh, especially in the uh, World Wars. Um, 
it's something I would not recommend using WD-40. If you want to clean your kit, use the Absolute Force from Dynamite or even any citrus-based cleaner will clean your kit perfectly too. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys and hit that like button, smash it. I do appreciate that, guys, and don't forget to subscribe.